Welcome back to another episode of Things That Make You Go. You guessed it, weighing scales. Weighing scales are the reason people fail on their weight loss goals. Why? Because you are not qualified to understand a weighing scale. The only person who can read a scale and tell you how you're doing is a PT. Definitely not your slimming club coach, Bridget. Spent the last 20 minutes before her weigh-in taking a dump. Must get it all out for the weigh-in. Everyone who relies on the scales, this might look familiar. Just before you weigh in, you get the slow, creeping fear of the weigh in. Please be down, please be down, please be down. Up a pound. No! I'd like to order a large pizza, please. I have my life. Look familiar? Women, sorry, you're the biggest culprit to this, but this is not your fault. It's the fault of these slimming clubs all over the world who've created this issue with scales. I'm going to show you why scales are irrelevant and you don't know how to read them. First off, we're going to check what weight I am. Now, step off the scales and drink these two glasses of water. Okay, two glasses done. Back on the scales. Okay, and on again we go. I'm up two pounds in weight in just 30 seconds. The difference here is, I know that two pounds is water. To one of these great slimming clubs and step up on the scales, and what are they going to say? It's even stick to the plan. Look at you. Two pounds up, you're an awful disgrace. It's down there now. Fucking on the ball step for yourself. Gays don't just measure our fat, they measure our blood, skin, muscle, bone, organs, everything. It cannot read your body composition. What that means, it cannot tell you how much water's in your body, how much fat you have in your body, how much muscle you have in your body. That's telling me I'm made in stone, which in medical terms, I'm morbidly obese. I must store it all in my bingo wings. Quickly, I'm going to list off why your weight would go up. Women, a week before your period, your body's going to store a lot of water. A good few pounds. Some women can store up to 10. Also, the more muscle you put on, the heavier you're going to get. You had a salty meal last night, more water stored. On and on, the list is massive. What I recommend for tracking your fat loss. Firstly, if you're not doing it with a PT and you're doing it by yourself, pick up your scales and fuck it out the window like a frisbee. Thick body measurements with a tape. These are consistent. Buy an item of clothing that does not fit. Try it on again in four weeks' time. It'll keep getting looser. Take pictures weekly and compare after four weeks or eight weeks time and patience it took time to put the fat there it's going to take time to take it off stop looking for shortcuts because there are none there's no magical pill good diet and exercise that is the only way anyway that's it for another episode of things that make you go